In order to sell like a new generation of X-Men of Wolverine, maybe there should be a new face for the Wolverine. Are you prepared or willing to shave? You shave right here. Yeah, shave right, right in here. Take some of the paint, put it on your head as if it were hair. I think I got a little too into character. I think that you have not got into character enough yet, if we're gonna be honest here. It's for the fans, Michael. This is not for you. But I get a copy of this, right? Uh, an action. Hi, Michael? They're ready to see you now. So then what? I just don't get the report because you decided to lie about retirement? Yes, yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Actually, no, that's it in its entirety. If the fans want to see Hugh and Brian face off in the Deadpool suite. No, no, no. You said I had that in the bag. Okay, that they were looking to recast this role. I thought that's why the whole multiverse was introduced in the first place. It was, but they decided to CGI a butt-ton of Jackmans into the Marvelverse. So the fans will cream their jeans and clean up their pockets on merch sales. So what, they just decided against using my idea to tell a generational story on civil rights? Well, they didn't decide against it. They just decided that they weren't for it. I've been doing everything to get ready for this role, okay? I, I haven't had a gram of sugar or a freaking carb in over a year. I've been lifting every freaking day. Do you, do you realize what I sacrificed for this? I've, I've basically massacred entire villages of chickens. Don't you dare put that chicken blood on our heads. He's right, I put the bulk on the vegan diet. So this, uh, why, why, why didn't you guys even give me a heads up? I mean, I'm even gonna recast it all, they're just gonna use CGI to make you look younger. Well, Actually, now that I think about it, I mean, just give Hugh a little hair dye and you two could play the same age. Ah. Plus, Daniel Radcliffe's PR team made that photo of him in his underwear go viral, so, you know, people are kind of on board with him doing it now. I <laughs> saw that photo, and you know what? His legs aren't even the right size! This isn't a movie about Wolverine's legs. Look, why are we trying to protect this hopeful loser's feelings? The world doesn't want a bald and brown Wolverine. Right? That's literally the suit design! Okay. I, I just think the real issue here is that they're just looking for someone with a bit more on-camera experience. No, 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 no. Hugh and Rhett Reese said that, that the next Wolverine should be an unknown and a, and a young actor. I'm unknown and, and I'm young. Er, then, then Hugh and, and Daniel, that's for sure. It's over, Michael. Hugh will play the role of Wolverine until he re-retires. And then the role will be given to a young, hot, bisexual with great hair and will appeal to the same demographic, right? Yeah, that's true, yeah. Do you realize what I sacrificed for this? Look, man, I don't know how to tell you this, but they already filmed the goddamn movie, okay? There's no opportunity for you here. I was gonna bridge the gap between him and the mutant. Young and old, black and white, short and tall, I... I gave up everything for this! I sacrificed everything! God damn, is that Spider-Man on the way? If you wore 12 white pants, almost as if you intended on tearing them off. The amount of house is made. <laughs> Did you actually go ahead and do that? I already got the surgery done. You didn't. You fool! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. <laughs> oh. God damn, I got a cookout to get to. Let's go. Take me with you! Where are you?